What is going on, everyone? The Houston Texans have another opportunity to shock the world this Saturday against the number one team in the AFC, the Baltimore Ravens. It is criminal that the Texans are eight and a half point underdogs. Did they not see what we just did against the number one defense in the NFL? Every time you choose the Houston Texans to lose, they go out there and shock you. What did C.J. Stroud say on the Pat McAfee show? Oh, they said we have no chance. Yeah, all right. I'll put up 45 points on you, only allow you to score 14, send you home. The number one defense in the NFL and the Cleveland Browns. The number one in terms of comeback player of the year for Joe Flacco. You made him look like an old man that just got off the couch. Now your eyes are set on the Baltimore Ravens. And let me know where you guys are watching the game. I am thinking about live streaming it here. However, I'm feeling good. I want to go ahead and drink a beer with you guys. So let me know the spots to go watch the game. I know the Houston Texans team themselves are having their own watch party. But I think you got to pay like $50 a head. Guys, I am broke. With that being said, we have the injury report for this Saturday's matchup. We saw who did not participate, who was limited. We're going to get a good understanding of of who will and who will not play in the game on Saturday. But I think it's going to be an all-systems go. Welcome, everyone, to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content, so make sure you guys are following me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok for the latest news, rumors, and updates. And if you guys are new here to the channel, welcome. I'm trying to hit 10K subscribers by the end of this football season. Please help me get there. And thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Let's go ahead and look at the injury report for yesterday's practice. Here's where the players that did not participate. Fullback Andrew Beck dealing with a back. Guard Dieter Island dealing with a illness. Defensive end Jerry Hughes, an ankle injury. Guard Shaq Mason, rest. Defensive tackle Sheldon Rankins, ribs and shoulder. And Laramie Tunsil, our left tackle, rest day. Those are the players that did not practice yesterday on Tuesday. The guys that were limited, Will Anderson Jr., ankle. Linebacker Blake Cashman, knee. Defensive tackle Malik Collins, hip. Defensive end Jonathan Grenard, ankle. Wide receiver John Mechie, foot. Linebacker Denzel Perriman, ribs. And wide receiver Robert Woods, foot. Those are the players that were limited in yesterday's practice. Now, we do have an update from Aaron Wilson, who covers the Houston Texans. Give me a second to bring it up. He tweets, Laramie Tunsil and Shaq Mason return to practice from rest day and Dieter Allen back from illness. Jerry Hughes not practicing. Will Anderson Jr., Jonathan Grenard, Sheldon Rankin still limited. Robert Woods is dressed out and looks like he's doing more today. Now, this tweet was sent out seven minutes ago. So that was an updated injury list on some of the players that were getting some work in today. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe we are here. And let's talk about this matchup a little bit. Let's talk about the mental part of it. The Baltimore Ravens are 1-3 in, in the playoffs and have not put up more than 20 points in each of those contests. They asked them, I think it was yesterday, how confident in you in this Baltimore Ravens team putting up points there in the playoffs? And he said, confident, very confident, extremely confident, kind of disrespectful to this Houston Texans defense. Didn't have to say a lot. But you being overly confident that you could put up over 20 points against this swarming Houston Texans defense led by head coach D'Amico Ryans, okay, that's another thing we are going to highlight and put it on our board as motivation. The Houston Texans have an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to go in there and punch the Baltimore Ravens in the mouth. They are going to be on three Weeks of rest. Did not play their starters in week 18. Didn't have to play there on the wild card because they have the first round by. When a team is off for three weeks, it catches up to them. Now, they do bounce back as the game goes on. So you need to jump ahead early. 
The good thing is the Houston Texans have showed that they are more than willing to do that with bomb Sonico Collins. I mean, first play against the Indianapolis Colts, 75-yard house call. The Houston Texans need to go out there and be aggressive. And that's what I love that they've been doing the past two weeks. The Texans have showed that they are not scared of anyone. Guys, the Texans are not supposed to be here. All pressure is on the Baltimore Ravens. And let's say you have a lead in the third quarter by like 10 points. That one and three is going to go back in their mind. Can we be successful in the playoffs? Can Lamar get us to the Super Bowl? You just saw what happened with the Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers. I mean, everyone was expecting the Cowboys to go to the Super Bowl. You had Dak uh, get an MVP chance to get absolutely destroyed at home against the Packers. It's now a mental thing. It is now a mental thing. And for the Houston Texans, if you are a trash talker, that's all I'm going to say is one in three. One in three. You're one and three in the playoffs, and now you're down. Guys, I am so excited for this matchup on Saturday. Once again, let me know where you are going to be watching the game, trying to meet up with a lot of y'all. Let's have a good time. Let's go to the Super Bowl. For more Houston Texans content, y'all feel free to follow me. For more, go H-Town. Have a very blessed day.